Well, Thursday, Thursday, what time, what time is it? That's right, it's time for some fishing tips. On this week's segment, Ray and Mandy talk about fishing with frogs. Tonight we're going to talk a little bit about fishing with frogs. And the most common thing you're going to catch when you're fishing with frogs is bass. But you can catch other things with them too, especially when you're pulling them out of the shallow waters into deeper waters, anything can happen to them. Having the right equipment when you're uh, frogging for bass is, is really, really important and it starts with the rod. So if you're going to be in, in any kind of heavy cover or anything like that, you're going to want a heavy power rod. And if you ever want to know, just simply look on the rod and it'll tell you if it's a medium, a heavy, a medium light or such. I suggest going with a heavy. I also like a little bit longer rod. This is a 7.6 and this helps you get the distance when you need to cast. So you've got the rod, let's go to the line. Braid. Braid's going to be the way to go. I would suggest going anywhere from a 40 up to a 65 pound test line. This way when you're cutting off vegetation fighting that big bass you're not going to break your line. The reel. The reel is really important. You need to have a heavy duty enough reel that's got the gear system, the braking system, and the drag system in it so you have the ability to fight that fish. Popper is a frog imitator. This looks like a frog, somewhat like a frog anyway. And what you do with this kind of a, a frog bait is you cast it up into the towards the banks or into the shallower weeds, into the shallow vegetation, and then you just pop it. You slowly pop it, and you can see it's got a, a little indentation in the front of it that makes a sound, right. a poop, a poop, a sound, and it's a very good attractor for bass. The other things that I like are this frog, the frogs you're making nowadays are so realistic. This is a, a two-hook frog, and this is almost a weedless uh, frog because you can throw right up in the weeds and the hooks come back and they're sort of protected by the body here and you can make that thing walk just like a dog. We call it walking the dog. You can make that thing go across the water. Very effective technique. And also some of these frogs are so realistic. This is a little weedless frog and you can see that the hook is here underneath it and then there's a little weed guard that fits on in front of that. You flip this over and the idea for these little guys is to move them just very slowly, pop, 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 you'll be amazed at the size of the fish you can catch with these little frogs. I'm Ray Gildow with the Nisswa Guides League. And I'm Mandy Eric, the Bassin Biologist. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.